So today is August, or I'm sorry, August. It's April 25th and um, my last frost date here is around mid to mid-May to the thir 34th week of May. And um, so I'm trying to get some things out a little bit sooner. I do this every year. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But this year, I've got a second defense that I didn't have in prior years. So what I end up doing just about every year for the past five years is that I grow some uh, cold tolerant tomatoes. Ones that are bred to take the cold of the north, as much as a tomato can that is. And uh, I've had success probably two out of the five years, great success to where I was getting fruits like early June because them being, you know, bred for cooler weather, that means they're producing earlier. So, um, and then the other times weren't necessarily failures. They just weren't quite what I wanted. And, and you run that risk all the time, regardless of if we're talking weather or whatever else. But this time around, I have a new ally. Check it out. All right, friends, so here's what I got going on. I have some tomatoes that, <laughs> they're not looking great, but they survived two frosts in a row. We're gonna try to get these out in the yard today. I know what you're thinking. Why would you put tomatoes out if it's still a danger of frost in your neighborhood? Well, because I think I found the answer. I'll show you what it is in just a second. So first off, to begin with, these are tomatoes that were bred for the north. They're supposed to be able to take much cooler temps, and obviously that's fairly true. Um, this one is the Cloudy Day Hybrid. This one is the Mountain Princess, which is down in the cup, so it did really well. Don't know what this is. That is the Subarctic Maxi. Here's another Subarctic Maxi. Over here, I have another Mountain Princess. And so we're gonna get these outside. All of those varieties were bred for the North. In addition, we're gonna put these two small um, microdor tomatoes in my green stock. These were not bred for the cold, but they're doing well anyways. And I believe these both are ink spot microdor tomatoes, but I'll find out eventually as they get older and produce some fruit. So let me show you what I'm gonna do to make sure these couple beauties don't die on me. Behold the cozy coat. Frost protection for an earlier growing season. I only have three coats, but I got six plants, I believe. So we'll see what happens. Better ways to grow, whether it's tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, or melons. Crazy coats are the secret to enjoying your heat-loving plants early every year. Be the first one to pick vegetables this year by using a cozy coat to guard your tender plants against the outdoor elements and extending their growing season. It's really simple. You open the tubes and add water. Then you place it over the top of a plant. And then you enjoy an early growing season. I think it's funny how they have that in snow. Let's see. I got these from Park Seed. I thought I ordered this off of Amazon. I guess maybe Park Seed has an Amazon account. I don't know. So really simple. We're just filling it with water around your plant. Adjust the coat into a TP shape by making the bottom wide and gently squeezing the top together. If the garden soil is still cold or even frozen, place your cozy coat in the soil for a week to 10 days. When the ground has been warmed, remove the cozy coat and then set your plant in the ground. Wow, I didn't even realize that. So you could put these out before the soil is even defrosted. All right, and then you remove it once it gets warm. 
and you could do it for all of your heat loving plants the earlier you plant the earlier you'll be picking you don't have to worry about heavy frost or late blizzards cozy coats will protect your plants through even the worst spring weather if, even if the water in the cozy coat turns to ice your plant is still protected the cozy coat becomes an igloo igloo keeping in heat and warmth from the soil and around your plants wow that's tall order right guys but we're gonna see if it works all right here are my six plants i'm gonna do one of each i only have three coats so i'm gonna do one mountain princess one subarctic maxi and one cloudy day hybrid here's the other three these three were I've, I'm, I've determined that these three are the least healthy, so I'll be putting these three in the coats. And I do have an extra layer of protection here, so I'll be putting these in, but they just won't have the cozy coats over them. I will be using those Dollar Tree closures on those, and we'll see how they do there as well. Around the bed, you see some things popping up. That's just some onions I threw out here some time ago. All right, so should be easy peasy let's get started All right, there it is. All six are planted. I can't use that um, little greenhouse shelter. Uh, it's not gonna work. These are way too tall. Um, they're bigger than I thought, man. So I got one of each in here. This is the mountain princess in here, down there. And I believe this one is the cloudy day. Down in there.
Then over here should be a subarctic maxi. Down in there. Is that what this says? Yes. And then for the other three, I'm using the Dollar Tree domes. Again, I've tried this before and it didn't work very well twice, but we're doing it again. I've left them open so they can get plenty of air. Oops. Pop that out. There we go. So we have the cloudy day hybrid in here. We got the subarctic maxi in there. And over here is the Mountain Princess. I need to go in and make labels for one, two, and three. All right, so we're supposed to get freezing temperatures tonight. Today is a whopping 45 degrees. Um, again, these already survived two consecutive nights of freezing temperatures on my front porch, although they've been outside now for probably two weeks, um, sitting on a the porch. They've not been in direct sun, but we'll see how they fare out here. Uh, and I'll come back and show you guys what's happening with that. All right, friends, thanks for joining me on this little experiment. I'll be sure to come back with an update sooner or later, hopefully, and hopefully I'll have all good news. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back another day with another video. Until then, happy growing.